Hi, my name's Thomas Brown. I'm the teacher in residence with the Physics and Astronomy Department here at Appalachian State University, located in Boone, North Carolina. Over the last 26 years, I've taught physics along with other STEM courses at Watauga High, also located in Boone. And during that time, I've worked with 13 student teachers, a multitude of interns, and have helped lead numerous summer workshops for North Carolina teachers interested in developing their science pedagogical skills. Some of those former student teachers will be here today sharing their thoughts about the journey they took through the physics secondary education program at Appalachian. We'll also talk about what a rewarding and financially stable career this can be, both the national and international demand there is for STEM teachers overall. Appalachian State University is invested in doing everything possible in helping you become a physics secondary educator. Teaching is not something I always thought I wanted to do. I was all over the place with my decision to college. I thought I wanted to be a lawyer, went into international economics, and I was like, yeah, this isn't right for me. Then I went into anthropology, took a class, and was like, nope, nope, not this either. And then I kind of found my way and wiggled my way home to physics. And it wasn't until I got involved in outreach events and science programs that I decided, okay, this is kind of cool. I'm really enjoying working with people, educating the public, um, and just engaging with others during the process. And so then it wasn't until my junior year that I kind of found my home with physics education. Being a physics secondary educator will provide opportunities that allow you to impact the lives of others as you watch them embrace the wonders of STEM knowledge. It will also help you grow as a person, foster positive relationships, provide yourself with financial stability and allow more time away from work than you might in other fields. What about job satisfaction? In 2012, Gallup asked 172,000 U.S. workers to place themselves on a job satisfaction ladder today and five years from now. It turns out that educators polled higher than all other groups, except physicians. Not only is teaching an emotionally rewarding profession, but it's financially rewarding as well. At the national level, mid-career teachers make somewhere between $60,000 and $130,000 per year. And this is for a 10-month contract, not a 12-month contract typical with other jobs. There's also high demand for STEM teachers to teach abroad in English-speaking schools. Students often think that this is referring to teaching English, but it's actually referring to STEM teaching jobs. I have some friends that have taught in South America, Asia, and have been based in Europe for the last few years. Seems like a wonderful way to see the world. So you don't go into teaching thinking that you're gonna have a gigantic salary. Um, you know that part of the reward is going to be the job itself, but as long as you know the standard of living for where you are and where you want to be, what you want to be able to do in life, the teacher salary is, is substantial enough to do that. You also have summers and that sort of thing where you can um, have side jobs if you choose or if you need to make extra money to do something. You have that time and flexibility. We hope we were able to answer some of the questions you had and I was able to provide new information about the physics secondary education program here at Appalachian State University. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to any of us at physics.appstate.edu.